Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with this week's home tips. I want to say a huge welcome to all of my new subscribers and let you know that this is a video that I do weekly sharing some home tips that I found all kinds of places. I post them on my Facebook page at home with Nikki. I'll put the link below during the week so you definitely want to go join that page. Also my blog readers are kind of the first to see any new videos and information that comes out so if you go there on the main page on the right hand side you can simply put your email address in and hit subscribe and you're subscribed to my blog and you're automatically get email updates anytime I post anything so let's jump in okay so the first tip is basically using the rim of a mason jar as a kind of guide or a tool kitchen tool for making those eggs for your biscuits because you know we like those little small eggs to go on our biscuits and so you kind of use this as a guide and so I thought this was a neat kind of tip because you know we have these all the time especially in the south because we use mason jars to drink out of and then you don't need the rims but I thought that it was a very economical and user-friendly tool if it did work so the first thing I thought is I need to put some kind of cooking spray on the inside of the rim so that my egg will not stick to the rim of my um, little uh, thing here so I did that I put the spray in my pan I put it around the rim and I sat it in my pan and started heating up my pan and so good to go there so from that point I just scrambled up my eggs and you know got them ready to cook and then I went ahead and I wanted to pour them inside the rim here now I noticed initially that a little bit of the egg was coming out the side but it wasn't not it wasn't much at all so I was like okay that that works pretty well so as I was cooking along I was like you know what I'm gonna need to flip this egg so that may be a little bit of an issue how that works so I wasn't sure how that works and so when I lifted the lid the rim off I had a lot of my top kind of you know spill over but then I thought about it and I said you know what that's not actually bad because that would then you know I can just throw that on top of the egg and it'd give me a little bit of texture on my biscuit you know for my biscuit you know so I wasn't really too concerned about that but I did see that it did keep the shape of most of my egg and so I was happy about that so I just went along with cooking it and then I just the little extra I just stacked it on top of the egg which you know was no problem there and as you can see it all fit on there perfectly it made the perfect egg for your kind of um, breakfast biscuit and so I thought this was really neat and again if you're making like you have three or four kids and you you know you're making you know three or four at a time I felt that this was a great way uh, somebody on my Facebook page posted and said that pancakes would be good to try with this also so let's move on light it pasta now I read about this tip and I said okay this makes sense and this is just one of those great MacGyver tips to know around your home just in case you're in a situation where you need to light a candle and you don't have uh, a long match or anything like that and your candle may the wick may be really low down in the jar and so using a piece of pasta and lighting the pasta to light your candles this is also great if you have several candles that you want to light and if it works you know you can just light several candles because pasta is very long and so I was like this is just a neat secondary you know tip to know in case you're ever in one of those situations and so I went to light the um, pasta and it did light up so it was no problem there so I was like okay this is kind of neat it's like a long um, matchstick so I said that's kind of neat so I went ahead and I lit my candle and I didn't have any problem there I tried to hold it down because it seems like when I hold it down my flame would stay lit longer so I thought that was just a little tip there for you if you do it is just to hold your pasta down but I have to give it a thumbs up because it really did work I mean it's a great little tip to know so I never have done this before and never used it before but you know I, I have to say that it really truly does work so thumbs up for this tip Okay, and my next tip is basically I read that if you take baby oil and your dishwashing liquid, it will shine your stainless steel. And you know, we all struggle with stainless steel. I have stainless steel cleaner that I just don't like. You see these water stains on my dishwasher here this happens all of the time we all know the battles with stainless steel if you do have it so they say just basically to kind of use wash down your uh, stainless steel appliances with your dishwashing liquid and then go back over it with the baby oil and you'll have an amazing shine so I said if this works this is great because it's a very economical way to shine um, my stainless steel I'm always looking for stainless steel tips because it's always a struggle with me because I haven't found anything on the market that I'm really truly a fan of and so and I love for my stainless steel to shine so I you know I wet my cloth and I got my dish uh, washing liquid on it and I'm scrubbing it down because I always scrub down my kitchen 
at night when I'm cleaning it anyway. And so this is great because you want to get all that grunge off of, off of it. So the next tip was I took the baby oil and I put a little bit on this little cotton. I wanted to try it on a little cotton pad first to just see how it works. And so I put a little bit of ba baby oil on that and then I wiped with the grain of my stainless steel. Now when I started wiping, I noticed a little of the cotton coming off, but then I thought, well, I'm going to do a dry wipe over anyway so it, it would get that up so I wasn't really concerned about that but I did immediately immediately notice that it was getting rid of all any streaks and it was really shining it now I was trying to stay with the grain of the um, appliances and when you're cleaning your stainless steel that is important to stay with the grain if you want that really beautiful finish when you know when you're done and so I have to say it did really work great I mean it really shined it beautifully now I wanted to get that cotton off so I just took a dry cloth and I just wiped over it um, and it really shined I mean it was beautiful I thought that it was great and it was easy it didn't take a lot of time and the results were perfect so I definitely will be incorporating this into my home and I give this a huge thumbs up so I thank you for watching my home tips this week I hope you will enjoy it definitely go like my Facebook page and also go subscribe to my blog so that you can be heads up on everything with me I say have a beautiful day and this is Nikki saying goodbye.